You sure about this? There's only one way to find out, right? And how are we feeling today? Same as when I killed that bottle of tequila. No hangover, no ill effects. So it's as you suspected, you are immune to poison. How marvelous. Also, according to this book you lent me, however venomous spiders may be, they don't ever poison themselves. And most spiders can control the amount of venom they secrete at their own volition. Aha. Meaning, mayhap, you can modulate the poison you secrete as well. I think when I'm in a throes of passion, anger, lust, fear, despair, and when my body's producing more endorphins, adrenaline rushing, that's when I'm my most dangerous. So, as long as you control your emotions, you should be able to move throughout the world without indiscriminately poisoning people? What about kissing even dispassionately? No, that's still very much a third rail, alas. Here, this belongs to you now. You may be venomous, Veronica, but you are also resilient. Remember that. Hey, Mom. I think it's time you tell me the truth. You, your sister, and I had just gotten back from apple picking. Your father sent you girls upstairs to watch cartoons, said he needed help with something. And that was the something. A deputy that had come around to investigate your father's suspicious activities and wound up dead for his trouble. Your father threatened to blame the murder on me if I didn't help him, and I was terrified. I didn't want to lose you and your sister. I didn't want our family to implode. So I helped him. I want to ask you again, Mom. Did you know that Dad was grooming me? Oh, honey. You have to understand, you... You were your dad's favorite. The two of you, you had this connection. And I knew that he had darkness inside of him, and I guess deep down I feared that he might try to cultivate that in you. So you just wrote me off? No, I, I, I knew that if the time came that I could control it, that I could control whatever impulses he was trying to manifest in you. That I could undo his influence. That I could save you. I could keep him from nurturing whatever was inside of you. What did you think that was, Mom? Evil? No. We would just have to get past the crisis point. And then I could, I could fix it. Wow. Wow, I finally understand why you were so controlling. <laughs> or tried to be. You were obsessed with me being perfect, the perfect daughter. But with the evil cultivating inside me. No, honey, don't say don't that. Don't touch me. Betty. No, because you, because you know what? Your, your plan it didn't work because that evil, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs>